Okay, so today we're going to be talking about U substitution, and U substitution is used mainly to reverse the chain rule. Um, it's a way to get the antiderivative of a more complicated equation, an equation that has more functions attached to it. Um, so the way that you do this is that you just substitute the inner function for a variable. Um, and this will make more sense once we get into our example, which I'm going to do right now, actually. So as you can see, our function is 2x, x squared plus 1 raised to the 1 half, and there is a dx attached to it, which means that this is a derivative. Um, so we are going to let our inner function, which is x squared plus 1, become our u variable. And so then you want to take the regular derivative of x squared plus 1, and you just get 2x dx. Um, and then you want to actually solve for dx to isolate dx. So you do get du divided by 2x equals dx. And so now we want to plug this into the original equation. So this is going to look something like this. So as you can see, this x squared plus 1 does become just a regular u. Um, but it's still going to be raised to the 1 half, and now it's going to look something like this. Oh, sorry, 2x. So as you can see, the 2x's here match up, so we can go ahead and cross those off because they do cancel each other out. And so we are just left with u raised to the 1 half du. And so now we can take the antiderivative of this function. So this becomes u raised to the 3 halves, and we just multiply it by the inverse of that exponent here at the beginning, so it becomes 2 over 3, and we can't forget our plus c. Um, and so now, since we have this, all that you have to do is plug in that original inner function. So in the end, your equation should look something like this, and that is the antiderivative of that original um, function that we had. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. <laughs>